drove away from the church. Streets north of town. So this is the view from the Jacksonville Art Center or the Floyd Center for the Arts. And this is the barn. They have a couple of nice mosaics in the front. And there are some spaces in the back. Let's go find them. There's like a summer art camp for, for children. They learn all sorts of artisan crafts during the week. Graphics. Studio. There's different painting studios by the woods, she told me. Uh, I think she said woodworking somewhere. A forge. I think there's a forge somewhere. Or just the solar panels. I believe these are kilns over here for the potters. This is a solar Volkswagen. Sustain Floyd Solar Volkswagen, a mobile generator for hire. It's interesting. And in the Plain Air Festival, people come from all over and they stay from oh, maybe today, which is a Monday, through next Saturday, I think, Saturday or Sunday. And they're taken to various spots around here and they paint on site. They have their canvases ahead of time and they have a certain amount of time and they paint these paintings and then they have a show and they have a list of corporations, businesses, people that are interested in such things. They have an opening and you buy tickets to come to the opening and at dinner with the artists or to come back after that for a cheaper amount to come to just the show. Have other events, um, like I said, jazz evenings when they'll set up for concerts, wedding functions, there was a wedding last week. But they have shows every month with openings and then they have a yearly artist or a half yearly artist that's featured for that amount of time. And they also have art in the market, which will will drive by. A quilt exhibit. A meeting room or a small function room. Classroom. Some easels hanging on the wall. Smell paint. This is definitely much used. Which is a good thing. So this is kind of a gallery here as well. Some more downstairs restrooms. Lobby space. Inspired by the Blue Ridge, the Floyd Quilt Guild. A gift shop. Just a small one, kind of like what I saw as a Salem shop or a, with some Salem flyers and regional flyers on what to do in the area. It doesn't have to be huge to be effective. A nice piece of artwork on the Jacksonville Center or the Floyd Center for the Arts, pastel and paper. It's actually a piece of artwork on the risers of the stairs. We drove away from the church, streets north of town, past the veterans' hospital, to that field There's some restrooms. This room is like the other one, but it looks like it's for functions. We have an elevator. Some more studios. Looks like a music classroom. And Floyd's a center known for its music as well. It's Appalachian music. We've got some more music studios back here. Nice space, all in an old barn.
Freedom is it free, I know. From steps in far off fields. Now I'm learning. And this is the Crooked Road, Virginia's Heritage Music Trail. Tune your radio to 90.5 FM, probably to get some information about the Crooked Road. And it tells us about Floyd's connection with the Crooked Road. Some nice benches to sit. And this is a community parking lot, but it is actually landscaped like maybe they have overflow booths here for festivals. There's Floyd Country Store. Lots of chairs sitting outside. They got a sign. Loitering is allowed. Interesting. So this is a commercial building. It has a Mexican grill and Dogtown. It has another business. Advertised. So there's several businesses in this building. Not a lot of them, but maybe three. It's an outdoor dining. Several levels of dining out here. Really nice uh, use of a patio outside of Dogtown. Town of Floyd presents Small Town Summer, a free summer event series in the Warren G. Lineberry Park. Thursday evenings in Floyd, Virginia. And this is a very nice park entrance. There's some more benches like that there. And those restrooms have wheelchair access. Nicely landscaped. Outdoor performance venue. But it's a charming, fairly small, it's still good size um, performance venue. Warrenji Lineberry Community Park is a spot just for you, whether you're 5 or 85. Come on down and run and play, sit a spell, have a picnic, or make some music. Enjoy yourselves in our community. The park is a dream come true for many people, and it begins to list all who contributed to the formation of this park. Businesses in this space, Station Gallery, were open today. Troika. Contemporary Crafts. That was one of the art venues they were telling me about. It may not be open now. I'll come back when things are open. I picked a Monday late afternoon in a town that I think has about 500 people. But you can kind of see the gallery in there. For such a small town to have this sort of indoor mall space It's one stop light town, but it's got more to offer than that. The shops are cute here. This hardware, farmer's supply, general hardware. I'm gonna go in there in a minute. Can't resist a store like that. Cute little red wagons. Selection of rakes and bird houses and bird feeders. Boutique and gallery. In the old uh, pharmacy. Country hardware stores, they have so many things in them and atmosphere too. What's not to like? Everything from a wood stove to an aluminum water can. What I like about this hardware store is look at these enormous planters on either side of the front door. That's one artistic hardware store. That's the Floyd County Courthouse. And as we come down to the traffic light, the Floyd Country Store is about half a block down on the left. I love the old signs that are painted on the sides of buildings when they're refreshed. They add such character to a building and to a town. A piece of garden art over there. You're seeing part of a troll's head. And his hair is the grasses and flowers that grow out of the head. The Floyd Music School here. 
So that is the courthouse that I was pointing out to you and the farmer supply general hardware across the street. So here we have Bell Gallery and Garden. There's landscape photography, art, crafts, and gifts. Gifts. Very artistic, colorful. And then here, the alley has been nicely landscaped with an intriguing garden gate. And next door we have Odd Fellows Restaurant and Bar. Come be odd with us. Bright blue benches. Dogs welcome on the patio. It's really charming. It's, it's quaint and small and it doesn't feel like it's been overrun. I walk down the street, you get very much of a village feel. The quaintness comes from the wooden rockers, the planters, profusely planted with plants. Uh, lots of color, interesting artistic signs. Here's the Republic of Floyd Emporium. Everything Floyd. So here's the Floyd Community Market. And it's got art by night on Fridays and then Saturday morning. It's the farmer's market. You can see that there are apartments upstairs in the nearby uh, station across the street from the Floyd Country Store, home of the Friday Night Jamboree, circa 1909. You see that nice banjo hanging there. During the day, it's a country store. It looks like it even has a cafe. But it becomes a gathering space for venue, a music venue, a dance venue on Friday nights, indoors and out. I would say that Floyd is a town that's much bigger than its population size. So they have an art and artisan market on Friday nights. So the shops are open in this emporium. It's kind of an indoor market next to the outdoor market. And there's a Floyd Artists Association Blue Ridge Art Connection. This is the featured artist this month or two, Robin Poti. And there's artisans here as well. Jewelry. Cute shops. Uh, literate shops. Where the Wild Things Are by Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. A Caldecott winning children's book. Herald on the Purple Crane by Crockett Johnson. So, book bags that feature book characters. Le Petit Prince, Goodnight Moon, Calm with the Wind, Edgar Allan Poe, Hamlet. Some pretty sophisticated shops for a small town. Monkey business. 500 supports a bookshop. We need a bookshop in Salem. Oddfellows tonight. There's art on the walls. It's showing a specific artist. And mismatched tables and chairs, vibrant colors on the walls. A really, actually, kind of upscale country kind of uh, eating venue for such a small town, and this isn't even the one. But there's several other restaurants here and lots of shops for such a tiny place. Really cool. So there's Plain Air Artist, P-L-E-I-N, painting the Floyd Country Store. We're going to check that out next. And this is some street jamming.
just on the street. They have these seats for people to hang out and musicians to jam. Several generations. We've got some of this in Salem. We should be taking advantage of it. This looks like a pretty good fiddling group. And you see the Floyd Country store in the background. So they have a ton of groups here playing. And a ton of stalls. And here's another one of these playing air artists. So they have Thursdays in the park. And I, I heard someone say that they're doing Huck Finn right now, but they also do music performances and stuff. So that would have been last night. But it's a charming performance venue for such a small town. Bootleg barbecue. Baby back ribs, chicken, crooked road. What I like about this store is it has a sign that says loitering allowed. We got lots of loiterers here. I haven't been here in a while and I couldn't remember if they sold stuff, but they do. It's like a country store. You've got the candy, the ceramics, the instruments, postcards. Statues, jewelry, drinks, sort of fountain counter or dessert counter, milkshakes, that sort of thing. Tickets go on sale at 4.45, music begins at 6.30, goes to 10.30. Friday night, Jamboree. And they have the Friday night schedule. And we've got dancing going on now. We've got square dancing. You want to try it, Jim? One more time. Find another couple. Couple up for them. I love the old fashioned, non politically correct candy. <laughs> Great. Collection of old, old time folk music.